What's up dear students? In this video, I'm going to discuss the roles of different institutions in the process of socialization. You learned about it in previous class, but in this class, I'm going to explain it, explain it more. So the first institution that works tremendously and which is the most important institution of socialization is family. All of we know that, right? Because a child um, is born in a family, so family's role is most important in uh, a child's socialization because uh, most of the time in its childhood is spent in the family and that is why the family's bad aspect, good aspects all influence a child. That is why, you know, the social morality, the civic knowledge, the sense of uh, language, attitude, different kind of habits all are actually formed in the family and we know that different kind of qualities are learned from the family forever uh, for example whenever you are living in a family you learn to help other you will have a feeling for your other family members right you have a a sense of tolerance that means sometimes someone is doing something in your family maybe you don't like it but still you will have that respect so thus cooperation fellow feeling tolerance sense of respect all of these are learned from the family um, not only that you learn to sacrifice things for example like uh, two pieces of fishes are there in uh, your family but your uh, uh, your sister your younger sister loves to have both so sometimes we sacrifice for our uh, family members loved ones thus all of these qualities love affection all are learned from the family now in family basically fathers and mothers relationship uh, is very important to form a child's personality if it's good the child's personality will be shaped properly if it's bad then there may be a negative impact in a child's personality and socialization uh, between father and mother definitely mother is the closest person of uh, the children and mother's attitude mother's sense of uh, morality responsibility everything is actually um, influence a child and you know whenever you will be senior whenever you will have child you will notice that so many qualities of your mother or so many uh, things that you learned from your mother will be exercised by you for example the uh, you will you will you know um sing lullaby for your daughter or your son you will practice that type of uh, reading or primary education that your mother taught you you will exercise that to your own children too thus these are actually learned from the family from father from mother not only that we learn so many things from our other family members like our siblings right uh, fellow feeling cooperation love these are learned for, learned from our from our siblings and other relatives thus uh, in a child's to form a child's mental health, to form a child's personality, family plays a very important role. That means family's role is most important in the socialization process of a child. The next uh, institution that I'm going to discuss is the relatives and neighbors. Do you know what's the relation, uh, difference between relative and neighbor? Okay, relatives are those people who have blood connection with you. Uh, maybe they're not your family members but you have blood connection with you like it may be your uncle aunt or nephew or niece grandparents okay and neighbors are those people who are living around you in your surrounding now uh, let me explain one by one relatives are very important because uh, whenever you're mixing with your relatives uh, let's see in different kind of occasion we go to our relatives house we meet our relatives and thus we learn different kind of qualities in marriage in birthday in different kind of religious festival we meet with our relatives and we learn different kind of things from our relatives and uh, neighbors are very close to us in fact say whenever you are in need immediately you may not have your relatives because maybe your relatives are living abroad or uh, in a far away somewhere 
or in Chitokong or somewhere else. But neighbors are always beside you. So uh, it's uh, it's your happiness, in your happiness, in your sadness, anytime, in any occasion, you are getting your neighbors and you are learning so many things from your neighbors, fellow feeling, cooperation, unity, leadership. Okay, remember remember whenever you were a child even still now you i'm sure all of you have friends in your neighborhood right same age friends so you play together uh, you talk together gossip together and thus you learn cooperation fellow feeling unity leadership all of these qualities from your neighbors and thus this is very important uh, in the socialization of a child now this role is quite different in village and city area because we know in village area neighbors are uh, very close even in city areas even i uh, do not know all of my apartment members but in village area they are very close there is no artificial relationship in city area we also meet neighbors also help us uh, usually we meet in occasions right but in village area they are like family so thus a child learns so many qualities from its neighbors and relatives and they play important role in the socialization of a child the next um, in uh, institution that play role in the socialization of the children is school okay uh, let me add another part with it which is the school mates now school you can say is a place where you get formalized education of socialization so there you besides acquiring knowledge you learn several qualities that are maybe quite different than that you are learning at your home for example discipline punctuality reverence reverence mean deep respect for someone okay cooperation mutual love for your friends you are meeting with teachers you are meeting with your new schoolmates you are um, meeting with different kind of workers of school so thus you are learning so many qualities from them and institutional environment is um, you know acquired uh, through school it's quite different you are attending to different programs like in your school you are attending to different competitions different national day celebration and thus you are learning so many qualities so many things and thus you are being socialized see whenever you are playing with your schoolmates um, or your school friends you are learning respect you are learning leadership quality you are learning uh, you are learning to accept others opinion you are being united so unity is being learned you are learning patriotism from your friends and your teachers fellow feeling is increasing tolerance say one of your friends um, said something that you do not like but you know how to deal with that with respect and school is teaching you that so your behavior your conduct your attitude your courtesy you cannot see it uh, as you wish in the school your gesture and posture should be in a perfect manner right so all of these are learned from your school uh, so besides textbook you are learning so many things from school not only that truthfulness justice uh, consideration the sense of good and evil good and bad all of these things are taught from the school now your playmates and classmates of school are teaching you so many qualities like cooperation and you know whenever you're playing or you're being a class captain in the school you are learning the quality of leadership in game sometimes you are being leader so a child learns leadership from there sometimes conflict arises you know sometimes you have conflict with your friends right that is also teaching you something you know how to deal that situation you know how to solve your problems whenever your friend is criticizing you or saying something good to you that is also teaching you something you know what are your bad sides what are your good sides how to improve yourself so all of these are uh, helping you to be socialized right that's why this is called peer group your this friends group is called peer group this is very important peer group is teaching you so many qualities but here one thing has to be uh, reminded that is if your friend circle in school is not good it may harm you too so your uh, schoolmates may be evil or may be good teachers and the parents have to be very careful about that so in this lecture lecture i'm just explaining this too uh, that i will make two more lectures for this wait for that i'm posting it very soon 
Uh, so that's all for this video. Thank you very much. Take care.